When the world was still young, there was nothing but gray fog, arch trees, jagged peaks, and everlasting stone dragons. But what came before this? Did anything come before this? And if so, who or what placed these things here? Long before Gwyn, Isolith, Nito, and the Pygmy discovered the souls of lords, long before there was such a thing as fire or souls, there were only two nameless deities. One deity was a being of perfect order, bleak, colorless, dull, and boring. It valued predictability over all else. The other was a chaotic deity who valued the unknown, personal choice, and individuality. These two deities bickered and fought, neither willing to acquiesce to the other's way. Despite the orderly god's forward thinking, it failed to see the most predictable outcome of all, and was slain by its counterpart. The deity's body became the rocky earth, and from it sprang the immortal stone dragons, the perfect manifestation of their creator's will. Now alone, the chaotic deity was overcome with guilt, and so too destroyed itself, its own body crashing to earth, and from it came the empty husks we know as hollows. For an untold number of years, the world remained unchanged, but even in death, the two entities could not coexist, their essence smoldering beneath the surface of the world, causing a great fog to spew forth and cover it. Until... One day a great flame erupted deep beneath the earth, and within it was the sum total of both gods. Order and chaos, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. The rest, as they say, is history. Others would gain power from this flame, elevating themselves to godhood. Though they wielded but a fraction of the power left behind by the creators, they were not true gods. In the world of Dark Souls, you are alone. There are no gods to hear your prayers. There is only the cycle. While fire is at its height, the world seems orderly, but in but a few short centuries the fire will begin to fade and chaos will hold sway, only for it all to repeat, because order and chaos are two sides of the same coin. Perhaps someday, a brave hero will find a new path, beyond the scope of light, beyond the reach of dark. But only a true monarch can make such a choice. What's up? This was a short one. I Honestly, there wasn't a lot of uh, stuff to discuss with this. It's just, you know little creation story. Originally, I was going to call the deities a Tiamat and Absu, but, like, that story's been done to death. Basically, every single version of Dungeons and & Dragons and Pathfinder all has that story retold in some way. It's just very trite. Hell, even Yu-Gi-Oh! has Tiamat in it. If I've had a dragon, you can't tell me that's not Tiamat. That's fucking Tiamat. Yeah, the Fate Grand Order version's better. Hmm. That doesn't make me straight. That's just convenience itself. A chick who can only go, ah. That just sounds wonderful to me.